Okay, I was almost singing along there. Pum, 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 pum. <laughs> you were blowing your trumpet. Yes, eh? blowing my trumpet That's right nice. there. Uh, thanks for staying with us. Of course, it's time to take a look at the headlines. Uh, we've been joined by Dr. Dana Kerry, lecturer, University of Lagos. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, us. Dr. Kerry. Nice Good to morning. See you. Good morning. Yeah, you guys are looking so bright. This well, Thank you, look, you. you look even brighter. <laughs> 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 All right, let's speak up uh, from the Punch newspaper now. Minimum wage, Buhari governors meet clash as federal government sets up an advisory panel. And he has uh, a quote from the governor there. If the president goes ahead to send a bill that would contain 30,000 naira to the National Assembly without considering what we have told him, there will be crisis in the country. I think that would be irresponsible on the part of those governors because the state does not belong to them. Mm. Yeah, if they cannot work towards paying 30,000 minimum wage, nobody is forcing them to be governors. They have a right mm. to resign or leave or stop contesting. Leave it to those who can do it. There is no state in Nigeria that cannot pay 30,000 minimum wage. I'm sure that even those governors can pay the bill. So where did they get the money from? So all this, you know, brouhaha about uh, paying this, not paying this. For me, I, I, I see it as, you know, as, as, as an act of wickedness. Because the, look at it. Is it but they, supposedly there's no oil. Are, are they telling us that they will not pay bills? Yeah, uh, that's uh, why many Nigerians have been praying for the oil to just, you know, just dry up. <laughs> so, so, so that so we can I begin mean, to really think out of the... Uh, Nigeria, I mean, we, we, we function without oil. And yeah. we, we have we, greater we, potentials in other mm -hmm. areas, even than oil. Far, so, far, far, far more far. than the so, oil. So why, why this uh, issue of uh, we cannot pay because... You are looking at allocation from the, the federal. From the federation. Suppose it we are to actually federate properly. Mm. Mm. Would they be waiting for the federal if government I, to pay if, if if Maybe that is where the problem is. Maybe that's yes, where the problem I, I is. I think we really so need to, uh, you know, to uh, operate uh, restructuring. fiscal federalism. Yeah. Mm. That's where we need to go. Yeah. But by okay. that, I guess the minimum wage will be about 150000 or maybe 200000 <laughs> or Oh, Come 000. to think of it, somebody actually sent me um, a message yesterday. In 1983, mm. uh, a man worked for 500 naira salary, mm. which was equivalent to $700. Now, today, in today's Nigeria, mm. How much is he earning? 18,000 naira. That's about 500 naira. It depends on what sector. That's, the 500, that's 500 naira. So no progress has been made since wow. 1983. Okay. For right. the no, Nigerian on, worker, on, that's on, what Honestly, it means. The, the worker has just been strangled. Well, we we'll look at what, how these things are going to play out. Nigeria's debt hits 22.43 trillion naira. Okay. Mm. And still rising. Mm. Okay. Father visits Boko Haram camp, begs son to surrender. Yeah. All right, okay, we have, uh, there's one interesting headline here. Dangote Adenuga, top Forbes uh, Africa billionaires list. So we have, uh, but, but they're saying that Dangote is... Uh, Has lost about Dangote $2 billion. Dangote lost billion about $2 dollars. billion. Dollars. His fortune fell from, from, fell from 12 to $10 billion. Mm. But the first, the, the richest African man, him, and then Adenuga, Adenuga has mm -hmm. also joined as the second richest man in yeah. Africa. So and he's added $3.9 billion mm -hmm. to his uh, It's really wealth. interesting, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. Very it interesting. Is. Really. But I, I, I just hope that, uh, yeah, they keep growing and let it affect the economy as well. So mm -hmm. that, uh, and there seems we'll to be, be a new category yeah. that mm -hmm. we we're talking about earlier, mm -hmm. the, the uh, Africa's poorest billionaires. Yeah, the, 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 way, the way they put it. <laughs> okay. Africa's poorer billionaires. It, it wouldn't be a bad idea to actually be a poor billionaire. Yeah, yeah. at least <laughs> you're a billionaire. At least you're a billionaire. That's what's important. Yeah. All right, PDP slams Buhari, APC for Jigar rally disruption. And uh, club raid, Lagos command arrests uh, 13 cops for unprofessional conduct. Mm. And I won't authorize government funds for campaign. The president, president is saying that. He said, okay. go and use text messages. There's no monies for campaigns. That is what the president is saying. And I think uh, he, he has said he's not going to release monies from the treasury for any campaign whatsoever. Yeah. And I think that's a, yeah, but, that's, but, but, that, that, that is just normal. You know, is, the country is not contesting election. Mm. It's individuals that are contesting election. Mm. It's parties. But, yeah, but, but, but this is from... You know from there's a problem between you divide, separating the lines. I mean, uh, dividing from uh, the incumbent uh, president uh, and the contestant. And exactly, mm. it's, well, it's always a tough call. Uh, no, you know? it's, only, it's, only, belongs, it's only in Nigeria you have that which challenge. Which funds mm. belong to the individual who is running for office? Yes. and uh, you know what belongs to the state. We have that challenge. Yeah. yeah. Even he, I doubt if the president even mm. pays tax. In other climes, Ooh. people, you see, the, the president is just an individual, mm. all right. But he, he operates 
as you know the head of government mm -hmm. okay now as a head of government you have everything that has to do with government but when it comes to election it's not the country that is contesting an election. It's the yeah. individual through a political party. Mm. So that should be entirely a political party. And INEC well. yeah. has been but, saying it will put its eagle eye on you know, election on uh, uh, campaign funding mm. and all of that. Whether INEC really has what it takes to ensure so it, 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 that it, it, uh, politicians and political parties don't spend beyond what is the stipulated uh, amount. Know, allowed. Uh, it, it's a good development. The mm. point there is this: this, this, this uh, topics will have to play out. You know, these issues have to come up and yeah. create awareness and consciousness. But the president saying we won't release monies from mm. treasury for it's campaigns a is a good one because let's, let, let, we've let's, known, we've let's known how things have been in the hope past. That it is mm. it is actually done. Mm. Mm. Okay, right. moving yeah, on to the nation now. Federal government to renegotiate uh, salaries above thirty thousand naira. Rwane. Faula, Teriba, Omoigui, Okaru, others on minimum wage panel. So that technical committee mm. uh, finally has taken off. And, uh, of course, there are terms of uh, uh, reference, what they'll be doing, advise the government on smooth implementation of impending wage increases and, 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 and quite a number of uh, things that they have to look at, four key uh, areas there, and also to make any other suggestion that will assist in the implementation, of course, go uh, government is concerned about the you know the increase in minimum wage, and how it will impact on inflation, especially, and of course, uh, uh, the nation's uh, purse. So uh, it, they have a, a tough job to do within uh, one month. Yes, and, and part of the job is to even look at other sources of revenue. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and I was really surprised that we're we're just looking at a committee that will be exploring sources of revenue at this moment. That, that should have been even from, the very, yeah, from the very beginning of the, the, this administration. So better, well, better late than never. Better late right. than never. Mm. Okay. Um, Oshibajo uh, showing how criminalize uh, fake news. It was interesting to actually read uh, what uh, <laughs> Vice President Oshibajo said, how uh, fake news almost cost him his marriage, mm. you know, where uh, he was seated among, you know, uh, those four ladies mm -hmm. at an event completely dressed only for fake news to carry this woman as uh, almost nude <laughs> and his wife calls him up and says yemi what are you doing with women <laughs> <laughs> and is that how he put it yeah but i i, I think it was just being you know dramatic yes about otherwise it, yeah. the wife but should have no yeah, the wife should know the wife should have know, him, know, him know her husband so he, he, yeah, yeah but you never know you never know you know men can no, you know get they, up they, to there somewhere. are levels ah, there are levels there are levels to get to that it's not so trust us okay dad urges boko haram's son to surrender of course, he's been with Boko Haram. He was um, abducted, according to him, at the farm, uh, you know, some 2009 or 2010. And he's been, uh, you know, well, he's bought into the whole Boko Haram ideology. Uh, and the father has been to believe yeah, in it. Yeah. Mm. That tells you something. Many of but this, is this still alive? Many of the, uh, what is the, what is the, is the father so assured that the boy is still operating somewhere. Yeah, no, according to it's him, possible. he's still very much it's, alive. It's That's why alive. he's been, uh, you know, begging him to come back home. And surrender. Uh, yeah. A sale of jam forms uh, began. All right. Uh, World Bank projects uh, projects 2.2% growth for Nigeria uh, as against the 2.1% uh, which uh, it you know, projected last year. That's interesting. So yeah, uh, obviously there are things that we should be doing right or are we doing right that will bring about this um, result, though it's much lower than the overall um yeah, but africa but even the uh, ones that will be projected have we been meeting them have we been meeting the projected you know well, that's uh, another matter mm. okay i guess that's it from the nation oil newspaper. hit 61 dollars it's really uh, yeah. interesting i can see but that there. look at that oil oh, yeah. hit 61.26 <laughs> now that should be some piece of good news yeah that, it uh, it's for looking good Nigeria. for the, for the 2019 <laughs> budget. budget yes mm. already there were fears that uh it, 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 it might go below mm. six, and that would have. Mm. But, but again, there must be a way of balancing it because we've always had excess. So where you now have a shortfall, mm. you should be able to, you know. Uh, yeah, but uh, up experts that. actually uh, say that if we had stayed within forty to forty-five dollars per mm. barrel, this would have been uh, very good. Mm. How does this, it make any there's difference? There's this unfortunate really? story: trailer crushes expectant mom mm. in Ibadan. Yeah, it was, uh, it, very sad. It, 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 the, the pictures of that accident that was Phew. seen was really bad. You see, the, the trailer was actually on top of the oh. on top of the car.
Mm. How, how that happens? Sometimes you just don't figure out. It's really, really sad. Really All right, Daily Sun is our next paper now. Book of Haram. Surrender now, dad, uh, dad begs son, mm. regrets inability to convince him to abandon insurgency. All right, mm. just talked about the frustration of a dad. Yeah. All right, elections. <clears throat> On elections, INEC wants police to lead new security structure, meets with heads of security agencies in Abuja. Well, INEC is working and working as we count down to uh, the elections. And security is the main is one of the main concerns, especially when, very serious especially when some states have been identified as, uh, hot as uh, flash hot, points, flash points mm. or hotspots. Mm. Security is very critical because it, 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 we've seen in the past where if, even the security agencies were part of the problem, mm. you know, where they aid those who buy votes and the rest of it, where they can cordon off some areas for some parties to yeah. take charge and all the rest, you know, those kind of activities should not be heard of among the security agents. Mm. So I am believing that this time around, they will get it right. Maybe mm. the security agents have not been, you know, told too that even their own lives are on the line, their own future, the future of their children, if they, uh, you know, I wish uh, compromise. They, see, I wish they, they, see they don't see from that, that angle yeah, because they, they, carry, they carry arms. And they believe they can brutalize anybody. Yeah. I, I think that's the way well, some of them are. I, 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 there I, I, are a lot I of them who seem to who operate as if they were not trained. Yeah, I believe the, that era has mm -hmm. passed mm -hmm. because at that time we also hear of those security agencies uh, being paid a lot of money and make them do whatever they want to do. The I, way they I did believe it. that there's no yeah. money to pay them again. Well, it's not about the money. I think it's it's more about the orientation. So that's the, so. that's the so, critical. So I factor. believe that that it era, the that area era, of training, training. Yes. the area of orientation. Yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. But that yeah. era of, of impunity in that regard, I well, guess it has passed. Let's so pray. Let, let's the police press. has been reassuring, mm. you know, that uh, this. Uh, They'll be on top of their game. They are concerned. They will definitely be mm. on top of their game. There we go. All right, okay. Carlo receives uh, done others into Abia, Abia APC. Okay, we are victims of fake news or Shibajo. I'm not sure you can saying that. Uh, police propose a prohibition law. Now, Ikiti, fire me planning to frustrate Atiku campaign. The PDP is saying that we acted in good faith over venue, says governor. All right, Buhari will review salaries above minimum wage. Names Rwane, head of technical committee. All right, mm. that's uh, from the Daily Sun. So, which means that for those that are earning l over thirty over thirty thousand, they they might need they, to they might need to downwards stay. No, no, no. They have to stay where they are where because they are. The point is, when the new minimum wage comes, everybody moves up. Up, definitely, and uh -huh. of course, thirty thousand is the floor. Exactly, that's it's the, the floor. So minimum. everybody has to move upstairs. Yeah. Move upstairs. Move upstairs. Those yeah, but I know. It, I, I know. It's, if you can move to the penthouse you know, too, it's mm, not a bad you know, idea. There, there is a way it could be, you know, done. It will just have that whooping effect, you know. Yeah. Mm. It, it okay. 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 Uh, yeah, that's why uh, Afro Rwani is the, oh, sorry, uh, Bis Bismarck, Bismarck Rwani. Bismarck Rwani. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the chairman mm. to help government. Of course, he did government. raise the issue about, uh, you know, a higher minimum wage earlier when the, the discussion started, mm. when the debate started, how it may affect inflation mm. and, of course, uh, Employment, of course, but uh, we'll see how it pans out. Uh, New Telegraph: Buhari's government has failed on all fronts, and that's according to uh, Senate President Bukola Saraki. Uh, with the riders, insecurity now in northeast, northwest, north central. Instead of job creation, over 20 million jobs lost under him, and 50 million liters daily consumption of fuel, a big scam. Arm twisting of financial institutions by government agencies, and 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 that's according to. Yeah, the first Senate president. The, the, is yeah, it politics the, that's playing out? I think so because uh, there, there has to be a proper understanding of what government is. You know, mm -hmm. uh, the Senate is part of government. You know, is an arm of government. Mm -hmm. yeah, but except, so if this government has failed, then it, he should it, take some responsibility. Indeed, is that what you're saying? Indeed, mm -hmm. if it is gov if you are saying Buhari has failed, all right, then you tell us <laughs> where he has failed outside government. Mm -hmm. No, but if it's about government itself, government is an institution. And the legislature is part of it. Yeah. The judiciary is part mm. of it. Although the executive seem to be the one in control mm. of most of the things, mm. you know. And, you know, more often we talk about the humongous salaries in the National Assembly, the, uh, you know, the kind of money they spend. Yeah. But we don't really face the executive in that direction. And truly, the executive seem to have more money to spend, mm -hmm. you know. And we have not looked at that. But then, when you are talking about the failure of government, although the system we run is the time that the book ends at the table at of the, the table president. Of the so, president. if it's on that ground that you are saying that Buhari has failed, then I will understand. But if it is government 
as an institution that has failed, obviously, Saraki is not yes. exempted. Mm. Okay. okay, President, I won't release public funds for my campaign, and Marwa will approach Basanjo IBB ex generals uh, for support. Of course, he was asked the question uh, whether uh, you know uh, these um, former leaders can actually influence. Um, the outcome of the 2019 elections. He said, no, it's the electorate. Uh, we will approach them, but if they don't, you know, we'll knock at their doors. If they don't open the door, we will, we will move on. Mm. We'll shake off the dust on our feet <laughs> and, and yeah. move on according no, to but, him. But certainly can influence the outcome. They, they, mm. they are so influential. They have so yeah. much resources at their disposal. And I think to a large extent that will speak, you know, to mm. how the election will eventually turn out to be. But again, on this issue of, you know, releasing public funds, we will look at how much he has declared and we want to see how the campaign will go. How, then we, uh, from there, perhaps we will now know where the funds are coming from. Well, some mm -hmm. are already mm -hmm. linking the dip in uh, Forex Reserve <laughs> to the campaign. Because it's easy to say, well, I will not release okay. this. Yeah. Uh, All right, uh, we've been victims of fake news or Shibajo Shoinka Ainek uh, say. Uh, that's at uh, the BBC uh, fake news conference there. Hoodlums attack at Chiku campaign office. Uh, World Bank forecast 2.2% GDP growth for Nigeria in 2019. Incidentally, the World Bank uh, president, I think, yeah, uh, the Korean. Yes. Uh, he's uh, living no, the Amer World no, Bank. He's American. Well, yeah. You are talking yeah. about the United Nations? Oh, no. The World Bank president. The, 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 the World, Bank, World Bank for okay. president. Maybe I'm mixing it up. But one of those global <laughs> bodies, is, he'll, he'll be joining uh, uh, Bayo Gulesi, yeah, uh, the, the owner of uh, yeah, Gatwick. That, that one is a Korean, uh, yes, I think. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Paradise of Thorns, cries of girls trafficked to Saudi Arabia. Uh, human trafficking is still a major uh, problem in Nigeria. And, uh, but what are they doing in Saudi, Saudi Arabia? What are they doing in Saudi Arabia? Yeah. You said well, they were trafficked uh, there. So yeah, traffic to do like what there? Because yeah, there must be a federal ground for, well, you for know, before when, you when, are trafficked. When girls are trafficked, yes. I mean, it's only... Uh, Obvious that <laughs> you know what they're, they're being trafficked for, wow, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Mm. New treatment offers hope of tackling tuberculosis. Okay, that's a piece of good news yes, there. Mm. Of course, Nigeria has uh, a huge uh, prevalence rate of uh, tuberculosis mm. and um, HIV. It's well, in Nigeria the world. has been uh, has been topping m many of those lists: mm. malaria. Yeah. And, and all of that. Maternal mortality. Maternal mortality. Uh, it's a function of the kind of investment we make in those areas. Poverty. Yeah. Yeah. Every, so everyday on. health, you know, <coughs> workers going on strike as a result of poor funding and the rest. I think they are part of the problem. Yeah. Yes, all indeed. right, let's uh, get into the Vanguard newspaper. That's the last one for today. Buhari Atiku lock horns over honor for dead soldiers. Atiku playing to the gallery. His party mismanaged money meant for arms. Buhari saying that uh, he'll combat insecurity. Atiku. Uh, he's saying that. Um, book, how I'll combat oh, insecurity. Yeah, yeah. How, he will how I'll combat yeah. insecurity. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> now, Boko Haram military shot uh, reopens mid-degree Damaturu Road. Okay. And uh, oil price hits $60, raises hope for 2019 budget. That's uh, some good news for government there. How I escaped death at Lagos APC campaign flag off. That's a journalist narrating his uh, ordeal, ordeal there. there. What we expect of judiciary this year by senior uh, senior lawyers. Orientation and reorientation going ahead. I wouldn't allow use of government funds for my re-election. Buhari is revealing that. An air crew foil attempt to traffic uh, three-day-old baby. All right. Uh, Forbes list, Dangote, Africa's richest man for eighth consecutive time despite drop in wow. wealth by two billion. Two billion now. How does anybody two see billion two billion dollars? Two billion dollars. Oh, sorry, two billion dollars. Two billion no, dollars. Two billion dollars. <laughs> you lost two billion dollars in like. Oh, no, and, right. and you keep going okay. on. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Why will it not go on? Yeah. <laughs> Most of the areas <laughs> is into are areas of monopoly. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I mean, and you cannot actually operate these monopolies without government support. So more or less over the years, government has actually promoted, you know, Dangote in a manner. That's, that is yes. why Dangote that, is a member of every political party. Oh, okay. But, some, but somebody however, actually made scathing remarks, you know, uh, about um, youth who say, you know, there's no job, no employment. I've been, I graduated since five years ago, uh, no job and all of that. And somebody said, look, Dangote sells salt and he's a billionaire. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Can you go sell some salt? Yeah, and, 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 and the selling of salt that made him a billionaire. <laughs> Come on, that joke. All right, anyway, uh, that was just by the side. Yeah. All right, Dr. Ekere, thank you so much for coming on the program. Thank you, it's always a pleasure. Thank you, thank you so thank much. You.